Hey, what's up, guys? It's Don back again. I have week four of the NDBL for you guys today, uh, and I'm gonna do be doing some post commentary. I battled uh, Aridon with his Duskali or Duskaliers. Sorry if I got that wrong, bud. He is a fantastic battler. Like this is probably the best battle I've had in a good long while. Just comp sheer competitiveness and the back and forth of it, and my heart or blood pressure got really really high while I was doing this but uh I'm gonna be doing some post commentary today with some of my friends who are also in this league go ahead and introduce yourself guys what's up I'm Jar coach Toronto's draft currently number one team in the league not trying to brag not trying to flex okay <sighs> okay but technically I would be first if I was still in it so no big deal <laughs> I'm and one of the newest wait. coaches Jake I'm hey what's up the dudes in the and uh <laughs> <laughs> um, Alright, so we have right. Jar, Joey, and J Creams. Or Jar, Rob, and J Creams. Also Joey. Um, Joey. So, anyway, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and start the battle. Wait, what speed are you playing at? I am playing it on uh, regular speed, I guess. Oh, fast, actually. Let me do it in normal. Okay, good you um. Alright, so he leads with music off. Good lord. Uh, he leads off with uh, Landris as I lead off with Altaria. I'm gonna pause it real quick. See, I led Altaria just because, uh, just looking at his team, Altaria seems like it's gonna be the most expendable mod on my team. Even though, uh, actually, hold on one second. Yeah, so we're, 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 we're gonna entertain y'all till Don gets back. So I think what he's trying to say is that. Sorry, TV was up too loud. Um, it's gonna be the most expendable member on my team just because I didn't think I had a good matchup against uh, Vaporeon, Scizor, and even Landers was kind of a threat, and Weavile. Uh, I, I kind of got proved wrong because it ended up becoming a potential one condition later on in the match and you'll see that here but basically here all I wanted to do was I figured he'd lead Landorus I wanted to get some damage off on it with a hyper voice or something but I think I wanted to uh, set up a cotton guard first as I figured he would be going directly into Scizor and if I can get a flamethrower off on that uh, as early as possible that'll be really good for me so he does go directly into Scizor and I get in the cotton guard I go for the flamethrower, which was an aggressive play, and he goes right into Vaporeon. Um, I assume he had ro Roar, or he was just the Wish Pass set, uh, expecting me to set up with Altaria, either Cotton Guard or DD. And that's exactly what he is. I decide I might as well get some damage off on him, because I know he's going to roar me out. Um, as I go into my Banded Bisharp, and Banded Bisharp does a crap ton with that knockoff, and I was kind of playing around with the Scald here, which would have pretty much made me lose. But he had no switch-ins at that point after I got that knockoff off. And I get rid of Vaporeon, which is probably going to be the most annoying thing to my team defensively. As he goes into Manetric and Altaria, even with HP Ice, it's max special defense. So it would pretty much not be a wall, but I could put a stop to Manetric because I have Roost and it's a defensive set. Uh, as he goes right back into Scizor, as I go into Ready Steel. I could have gone for Flamethrower there, but I didn't want Altaria to take damage as I didn't think Flamethrower would kill it as it has a minimal I mean, special attack investment. And I tried to go for the Toxic, expecting Landers to come in, but he just keeps going for Brick Break. I'm assuming that was like a Expert Belt set or something like that, as, and that's why he didn't have superpower on it. Um, I decided to rest up so I can kind of make Ready Steel more viable and like be able to live. And here's kind of where the battle turned, because I was losing a lot of momentum, and I was like, okay, is this SD Scizor? And I was kind of like scrambling in my mind here. And... Uh, yeah, it could have gone much worse, but luckily he was just uh, three attack reset. set. Agreed. Yeah. <laughs> I would just like to point out that you said knocked off off. Oh, my hey. bad. Knocked off off. As I just keep spamming Earthquake. I'm not really doing anything to him. Just wasting time. Uh, I figure I might as well go to Crobat now. I probably should have switched into Crobat a long time ago. Um, it's banded as well, so I just go for a Brave Bird, expecting to do a lot to it, and I do. It would have been easy to get KO, but he goes for U-turn here, and he's going to end up going into his uh, Manetric, and I can literally do nothing against Manetric. It outspeeds me, it can Oko me, and I'm just in a spot. So I go to Registeel. I was actually intending to sack it here, but it lived on 5%, which, you know, is... It could be better. It could be worse. Um, it means that I get to see what he wants to come into, and it's going to get the move. But because of that, I got put in a position where he can still have momentum with Scizor, and he goes right back into Manetric. And this pretty much the exact same thing that happened before happens again. So I go into Registeel, and he sets up a sub here. And here, I'm like, fuck. 
or excuse my language, but I I pretty much <laughs> felt like I was screwed. And then I remembered, yeah. oh good, I have Altaria with hyper voice, and it pretty much put pressure on him. He just volt switches out. I could have gone for flamethrower, expecting him to switch out, but I didn't know what his uh, last move was. But he showed it was flame. Well, he showed it was flamethrower, so I should have known. But I just said cotton guard is a better play. And bullet punch is like literally nothing to me. I can just sit here. I could have set up another cotton guard, but um, I just didn't see a point in it. I needed to get rid of Sizzler because he kept his momentum up with that thing, and that's another threat down. Um, and here it was looking like I could have just pretty much gone for the win here, but little did I know he was Scarf Special Lander T, and that was like not something I would have ever expected him to bring. And that Sludge Wave is doing crap ton. I could have kept staying in and roosting, except I got poisoned, so I didn't want to like let Altaria die, so I decided to switch out here. Um, I go into my Crobat because it can take a Sledge Wave. I was expecting him to be Specs just because of how much that did, but I mean, Landris has decent uh, uh, special attacks, so it's understandable why that did so much. He was actually modest, and I was expecting him to be Impish based on the f previous calc of U-Turn doing 8.5, but um, I decided to just play around that. I go into Blaziken and expecting him to go into Landris here, and I was going to Fire Blast to kill, or not kill, but do a crap ton of Landris. But he goes into Gudra, which in hindsight was probably his best play because if he was expecting a Flare Blitz, Gudra would have eaten that up as well. So I decided to go for a Life Orb I High Jump Kick just to get some big damage off, as I do. So Gudra is another fat mon that I have successfully more or less wall broken. I go into Bisharp here just because he has, again, no switch into a Banded knockoff. I'm not sure if he knows I'm Banded here or not, so I, I just feel like it's not safe to stay in. So I go into Crobat, and then he goes for a low kick. Um, it doesn't kill me, but of course he has Ice Shard on his Sneasel, which will kill me. So Crobat goes down here. And here I'm thinking, this was like crunch time. I'm like, do I go in Altaria or do I go into Roserade? Because Roserade is Scarfed, and Altaria I was expecting to um, live one Icicle Crash in Oko with Typer Voice. But I calc it wrong because I didn't notice that there was uh, EVs and Defense in that calc because I had no defense investment on this Altaria so Altaria pretty much dies for no reason but I mean it's okay it didn't really do anything more than just wall my trick a little bit but anyway here I'm like okay I just lose because I shared finishes up because he has low kick on wheat sneasel which can kill bit sharp and even if I keep going for sucker punches it probably won't kill a sucker punch plus he can just I shard spam um and here I was like shit I have Scarf Roserade if I can hit the sledge on my win but he has fake out and I was like alright that's it like I could have lived one ice shard but now I'm in a range where I can't but luckily he does not decide to keep ice shard spamming I go for the bandit sucker punch he probably went for low kick and it drops so then he goes for the intimidate on uh, Landorus which is his last mon I'm effectively at not even times two because uh, with a band it uses the banded uh, stat to boost with the 1.5 so I definitely knocked that out in one hit because I'm adamant banded and Landers goes down and I win. So I hear you guys right. snickering back there. So uh, if I had to comment that was an amazing battle Dom. I think you played extremely well. Uh, well well thank you Jar. Um, <laughs> High five Rob. I think Banded by Sharp put in a ton of pressure. What did it get? Four kills, I think? Three kills? Uh. Four, four I think. It, it killed, killed Go Vaporeon, yeah, Guja, um, Lander Sand, and Weavile. Yeah. There's Steensel, yeah. yeah. So, uh, Adamant Band really did put in the work. That was a good eye on your part. Uh, the Altaria Calc, unfortunate, but I don't, Altaria really didn't do much. Yeah, it didn't matter in the battle. long run. Yeah, it didn't. I don't think it mattered in the long run. Um, uh, the one thing that I didn't get, um, I didn't get why he stayed in with the, uh, the neck trick on the Blaziken, because the way you brought that in originally, I originally thought you were Scarfed. Um, yeah, I was buffing that Scarf really hard Scarf, there. Scarf Blaziken is really common, um, so I, I would have probably switched straight into Gudra without bolt switching, uh, so that was a, that was good that he called, he called you on that one, I respect Darydon for doing that. For sure. But I think it was a really good battle. One thing. I would put, I would have put Heat Wave on Crobat, and I also would have put Fire Punch on Registeel if it was your switch in distance. Order. Yeah, I really dropped the ball on um, prepping as far as Registeel. I was thinking more of along just something fat to sit in the way of Manetric and um, Gudra as far, instead of uh, playing offensively, which is really odd for me because I'm more of an offensive player. But um, see, I'm not, so I'm used to just sitting in front of things and talks game yeah. and waiting. Yeah. So, so for you to tell me that makes me know that I really should have done that. Yeah, all right. Okay, I'll I'll have a few comments here. 
Um, I think you needed more fire coverage and ice coverage. True. For true. Some stuff. But so, ice beam and I think I thought when I watched this, I thought you were fucked when he called your shit on the scarfed Blaziken. <laughs> I was like, okay, I know you lost this. I thought he was then, fucked when that diesel went for fake out. I'm like, yeah, so was, I was like, well. What so the fuck? The and then, because like you usually laugh at the people with fake out Weavile on the ladder, but yeah. it actually <laughs> almost worked for him. It, it, and then it almost won just the game. Rex stuff, so that was cool. Yeah, a lot of could have gone really differently in this game. I want to put a little bit to it to look, maybe like twenty five percent of this one to look. But um, and guess yeah. what, Dom? What, Rob? I'm proud of you. Thank you, Father. <laughs> I appreciate it. What about Real Joey? Quick. He's been chilling in the back. I oh, know. I'm just waiting. Jo waiting. <laughs> it was like that. Wait, Joey, Rose Joey, Joey. Drop some knowledge, Joey. Joey. Joey, Joey. What do you have to say? <laughs> I just thought that. Okay, was, uh, great really commentary. Good. Shut Joey. up. <laughs> go, go for it, Joey. I was just gonna say that I thought that it was really key that you took out Vaporeon so early. Definitely. The skull put in quite a bit of work to your team with like True. and everything. Because that was technician. That was technician Roserade, right? Yeah, with yeah, HVIs. Really, yeah. Switch in. It's a good call, Joey. Yeah. I thought that really good battle, Dom. Where did hang in there and everything? <laughs> <laughs> that Bishop got burned. You were fucked. Yeah, literally, if the Bishop got burned, I was just gonna lose. I was just gonna give up. Not give up, but I was just. I had no way to win. <laughs> yeah, it was a really good game. Really good game for both of you. Yeah, the last thing I have to say is that. Uh, Joey's comments were absolutely useless. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just cut that part out. What the Rob, you're brutal. <laughs> you're so mean to Joey. Yo, Rob, I, I can't wait. I can't wait till we slug it out, Rob. I'm gonna take you down. You guys used to be so close. You're like brothers, and now you get right here. Joey's you're like... my best friend. Nah, oh my know. gosh. Even friends fight. Even friends fight. Yeah, me and Jar are a, a classic example of that. Yeah, I'm stall, he's offense. It's not a mixture. Not at all. <laughs> Alright, Dom, take us out. Yeah, anyway, uh, I okay, hope you guys enjoyed like the battle. Uh, leave a like if you did, subscribe. I really appreciate it. And uh, also, if you didn't like it, remember to... Don't dislike off. it. Oh. If, if you didn't like it, like it anyway. Uh, anyway, yeah, I'm out. I will be bringing you more battles next week with week 5. And uh hope you guys look forward to it. Leave a like, subscribe. Leave a like, subscribe. Leave a like, like, like. Bye. Like.